going to go down a path of more and more government-run health care on a march towards single-payer, or are we actually interested in doing the work to prepare and try to prevent some of the premium increases that the department has highlighted are coming down the pike with the eventual end of uh, reinsurance and the uh, funding that isn't you know, there to continue that program, and additional, additionally to the, uh, some of the federal tax credits and subsidies that have um, helped out the individual market. So I think that's the policy choice, and I worry that this kind of work, it's not, uh, doesn't really help us analyze whether or not this is a good idea, um, but it just distracts us and, and provides kind of a false alternative to actually fixing the individual market and making sure that uh, we don't see premium increases of 20 to 30 percent once reinsurance ends. So I just hope that we can focus on that task on hand, Mr. Chair. It wasn't a